Well, since my last little Houdini video on modeling the chair, I've got a lot of PM saying, hey, can you model some more simple stuff? So I started going back over my videos and looking at some of the simple things I've modeled in other packages because, you know, I like to model the same thing in each package so you guys can pick and choose and, and see how a package works based on the package itself instead of the model you're doing. Um, so you can go through and model the same model in all the packages so you can choose based on the package. So I was looking and... I'm thinking, okay, we've modeled a flashlight in Modo and Maya, so let's model a flashlight in Houdini. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to our Create Shelf and Control Click a Tube. Okay, this is going to this is going to give us our tube right here. Okay, so as you notice, it laid down our tube object. So let's double click our tube object container because we're in our scene level now. So let's double click it so we can go inside this container, and that takes us to our geometry level and at our geometry level you see we have our tube okay so to make things a little simpler you can see you can't see much about it right now I'm gonna go up here and select smooth wire shaded now we can see our wire frames okay I'm gonna go to my primitive type here because my tube is selected and I'm gonna select polygon we're gonna work with polygons okay and now we can go in here and adjust our height so let's middle click our height parameter and let's adjust our height here up like this And that will be good to start with as far as starting our, the body of our flashlight, okay? So here we go. Let's go ahead and go to edge mode by hitting the number 3, okay? And I'm going to select this edge up here, then hit Shift-L. And that's going to select that loop. Let's go to our Polygon tab and select Polycap. And boom, that's going to cap that end. So let's do the same thing down here. Let's select one of the edges around and sh hit Shift-L. It's going to select the loop, and we can hit polycap. And as you notice, over here, we have our tube. We can go back to it, which is our normal tube. We can go to our polycap node, our first polycap node, and view it. Now we have our polycap there and not down here. We go to our last polycap node that was added, and it fills in the bottom there. You can see it's all very procedural. Okay? So now let's go in and add some edge loops to kind of mesh out our model here. So let's go up and select edge loop from our shelf. Okay, and let's go in and let's add an edge loop right close to the bottom here. Okay, and let's add another one just a little bit ways up. Okay, and I want to put an, a loop on either set, side of that one we just made there like that. And let's go up close to the top here and put one about right there. Okay, now let's zoom in to these little loops we just made. Now if you notice it put a poly split node in for every single poly split that we made. We want to go back to this poly split node and look at it. It's what it looks like before we made the two cuts. We go to our next one. There's our next one. We got our cut in there. We go to our next one. Add to that cut as you can see step by step. It's all procedural. Really great. If I want to get rid of one of these edges I put in there I just gotta go back and delete one of these nodes and it'll get rid of that edge okay so let's um, hit the 3 key and let's select this edge shift L to loop it let's hit the E key to bring up scale and let's scale that edge in way in like that right there okay now let's go back and call up our edge loop tool again and let's put some edge loops in close to the edge here like that right there and we'll put one about right there like that like so okay now let's hit our two key go to our point mode okay and let's select all those points like that right there that we just made all the way around okay and let's hit the E key bring up our scale tool and let's scale these down together as you can see if you use the outside handles it scales it in all directions so grab the inside ones here like right this little one here and pull up and it'll just scale in one direction okay now that we got those scaled together let's grab our edge loop tool and let's put an edge loop on either side here okay let's back out now we have that little space set up there where we put our battery in now you can see over here in our nodes that we have every single step that we made here's our edit node we go back before our edit node which is before we scaled them in okay we go to our poly split is right after we scaled them in right actually go to our poly split node that's our first edge loop we put in our second poly split 
and there we go all completely procedural and this is the power of Houdini if I want to work on it before I scaled these together I can go back to poly split 7 and now these are not scaled together I can go in and modify anything I want to and then go back see it's all procedural there's no it's it's wonderful okay so now let's go up here let's hit the 4 key to go into polygon mode or rather primitive mode whatever you want to call it I call it polygon mode because I'm used to working with Modo and let's select our top polygon there our cap hit the E key and scale it and let's scale it out like this as you can see that's gonna make the top of our flashlight so now let's grab our edge loop tool and let's put an edge loop in about right here and we'll put one on either side of this little crease here to sort of hold that crease tightly okay now let's hit the S key or hit your little select pointer here let's go to edge mode by hitting three key and let's select this edge right here shift L to loop it around E key for scale and let's scale this out till we got this little lip here it makes it even you can see now we have this little flat piece around the flashlight now we need to put an edge loop in there so let's select our edge loop from our um, polygon shelf and let's put one in here put one in right here and on the other side right close to the bottom there now you can see we have all of our little edge loops in there real nicely okay so let's hit our four key we go into primitive mode let's select that top primitive let's go up to our polygon shelf and hit poly bevel now the stock settings will probably be just fine if you want to adjust it you can come over here to the inset and you can adjust that in like that okay so now let's hit the s key or hit the little arrow select here Let's hit four and let's select this inner polygon okay I'm gonna say poly extrude from the polygon shelf and we're gonna pull it straight down like so let's hit the Q key and the Q key will repeat the last command so I can hit the Q key and it will refire my poly extrude command because it was the last one I used and I'm gonna pull it right back up till it gets to be even like that okay now let's select our edge loop and let's put an edge loop around right here and one around right here like so okay now let's hit the one key to select the whole object and we'll say subdivide and that will add a subdivide node and that will subdivide that up and if we need to make it a little smoother let's up our depth to two you can see that makes it just a tad smoother if we go up here smooth shaded we can see our little flashlight okay so now let's add our button we don't want to go to our object scene and add a, a cube for our button here instead we're going to go into our tube object that we had originally and I'm going to tab in a cube so I hit tab you can just go straight down to the polygon tab or primitive tab I'm sorry and select box and let's drop our box down right now and now we have a box node here as you can see it's pulled over right here and it's inside of our original container so I'm going to template this flashlight by hitting the pink flag on this node here that way I can see the template of this node and work with this node okay so let's scale this in by grabbing the edges and scaling it in like this we're gonna make a little button out of this like so and now that we have this let's flatten it out a little bit more we're going to add some edge loops to tighten it up. So let's select our edge loop from our polygon shelf and let's add one around this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and of course the sides. That way when we subdivide it, everything will be just fine. So let's go ahead and select all of, of that object we just made and let's select our subdivide node and that will subdivide that okay now all we need to do is kind of position it so let's go ahead and select our move that way we can move it and as you can see when I selected our move command it added an edit node let's move it up like that 
Okay, and there we go. There's this. So now we've got these nodes here, which make up our button. And we have the nodes next to it on the left that make up the flashlight. So how do we make these two together? Simple enough. Let's right click on our out node here and type merge. And there's our merge command. Let's drop it in and let's pull our noodle from our button to this merge. And we can view it and there we go. Now since this is procedural, I can go back to my subdivided node and I can up the depth. You can see all this is procedural. I can go back and change anything I want along the lines. I can go back and view this poly, poly split and start working from way back here in the pipeline and start adding and doing so you don't have to mess up and with Maya the history gets so convoluted and stuff it can slow down it just is not the same as this wonderful mechanism they have in Houdini so there we go let's go to smooth shaded let's go back to our scene level there and we have our flashlight built inside of Houdini now we have this one node here called our tube object. We can rename it to flashlight. And now we have this one little tube object, one little flashlight here as a single node that we can export as an asset. And anybody with any Houdini application can just drop this asset in the scene and they have a pre-built flashlight. If they want to go into the flashlight and change something to make it a little different, they just double click the node. And they got all the nodes that we had right there <clears throat> in front of them. And they can adjust and manipulate to their liking. Okay? On a side note, if you're the type of person that likes to keep their stuff organized, as you can see, we're at object level. Let's dive down into our flashlight. Here's all of our nodes. Okay? So over here is our button nodes. And this makes our flashlight. So let's go ahead and select all of our nodes that make up our button and let's hit this little button here and this will put a box around our nodes like this and you can pick, bring up your color picker to change its color let's make it orange and let's come over here and select these and let's put a box around them and and now we have a box around that we'll leave it gray so let's go ahead and rename this button and we'll rename this flashlight body and I renamed my merge to output merge and now you can see we have these groups of nodes organized into the flashlight so anybody who gets this asset can easily see what they're working on we can close them down and now we've got all kinds of room to add more nodes and work however we want and that's just an on a side note for you guys that like to keep organized. So there we go. That is building a flashlight, a simple low poly flashlight inside of Houdini. I hope you guys have learned something. Thanks for watching and happy modeling.